My name is Paul Isaac Kosasuzi, the Chief Executive of Kisaro, Kiramatos Corporation. Kiramatos Corporation is a government of Uganda initiative for automotive industry development in Uganda. Kayola Solar Bus is the first electric solar bus designed and built in Africa by Africa at Kira Motors Corporation to uh, demonstrate and to show that we are aware of the impact on the climate by mobility solutions which are highly carbonized and that we are willing and ready and talented enough to take practical steps to decarbonize mobility in Africa. We believe that uh, given the unique position of particularly Uganda along the equator with what we call non-stop surf for at least six hours a day, there is an opportunity for us to uh, explore and leverage the gifts that nature presents to us to provide solutions that will go a long way in addressing issues associated with climate change in the space of mobility, especially for mass mobility in urban centers in Africa. Kira Motors aspires for domestic value addition in the automotive space with a specific focus on green mobility solutions. As we stand today, government has supported us in so many ways, uh, specifically to set up an automotive manufacturing plant, the first of its nature in, in the wider East African region, so that by 2018 we are ready to go to production, starting with cleaner diesel automobiles and then moving on to leveraging the opportunities and the technology that exists elsewhere in the world to bring green mobility solutions to Africa and add value as we create jobs and eventually wealth for the transformation of our people and enabling them to achieve more. Solar energy is uh, a, a great and uh, to a greater extent, not very uh, greatly explored opportunity that is available for all of us. The grid that's available in Uganda as a country is not yet covering especially the upcountry locations where more than 90% of the population today stays existing in subsistence farming, but they have to go to school, uh, they, need, they need to cook, they need energy for livelihood. The best way today for Ugandans in the rural areas, in the rural population, to actually have energy is to leverage the natural resource that they have at their disposal through solar energy. And we do believe that this can have a very great impact on education, on the healthcare system, as well as on the day-to-day -day livelihood of the citizens of Uganda. If it's explored in time, but also with meaningful and relevant, reliable, and affordable technology for the citizens of Uganda. When we started uh, working on the Kayola Solar Bus, what we hoped was that we would amplify the voice of uh, green mass mobility for the urban centers to such a level that people will start to realize that actually it's possible to do such things here in Africa and it's possible for Africa themselves actually to take the practical steps instead of waiting for someone from elsewhere to actually get moving. And I think we have accomplished that today as we speak. Uh, there are so many Ugandans and friends across the world who believe that things are actually possible to happen in Africa. It's possible for us to take practical steps to solve our most central problems. And as we all know, the, fun, the foundations and the, and, and the building blocks of economic transformations, one of the most important pillars is transportation. Mobility for people and their, and their merchandise from one place to another is critical. And for us in Africa, I can argue and let's say that for half a century to come, the last mile of mobility will still be based on the motor vehicle. Therefore, it's very critical that at this point we do something in this space 
which is very important to our lives every each and every day, so that we can use that opportunity to address the problem while creating possibilities and opportunities for people to apply themselves intellectually and meaningfully for a better life. Marrakesh is uh, an interesting place, but that's it, coming down to the Sustainable Innovation Forum, I've uh, specifically been inspired by uh, 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 Pickett, uh, Bertrand Pickett, uh, the founder of uh, Solar Impulse. Um, it's, it, it, it's quite moving to see a dream which seemed impossible by everyone, flying a plane on solar across the globe come true. And with that, I'm more energized to go back home and ensure that urbanized mobility using solar is a reality. Because if we can fly around the world on solar, we can move people on the ground on solar and enable them to live a healthier life and accomplish more within the resources that are available at their disposal. We need to remember that for economic transformation, three things are always the primary issues. One, the human resource. Uganda is not short of talented, able and vibrant young people who can do more, and we need to emphasize that. And uh, Bertrand Pickard is such a role model for such people. Secondly, the technology. The technology exists everywhere in the world. We just need to tap into that and share the experiences of others to move on. So the technology we are talking about, it's now mature, it's now economical, the stories have been so many here, we just need to tap into that and we get moving. And of course, finally, and very, 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 very importantly, the natural resources. Solar energy is a natural resource. It's available, especially in Uganda, across the equator. Abundantly, we need to use it.